Hello, Paul Synthmania. Here's another quick PSA on the Alesis HR16. It's a classic drum machine from uh, the mid late 80s. It uh, still sounds pretty cool. I made this beat on it. But the only problem, it doesn't keep the patterns in memory. So when you turn it off, let's turn it off. We are on um, pattern zero, zero. Now it's off and when you turn it on, poof, the pattern is gone. So I just think it needs the battery changed. So opening the drum machine is really easy. It only has four screws. And uh, the battery is this purple battery right here. And it's supposed to be 3.6 volts, but it's totally drained. Let me show you. It's totally gone, doesn't have anything. And I found a replacement on Amazon. It's a TL5101 battery. And let me show you the way it's supposed to be. There you go, 3.6 volts precisely. So this is a brand new battery. All right, we can get rid of uh, this drain battery. Ah, they put some glue on it. Ah, uh, get rid of this. And just to remember, this is the positive and this is the negative. Hang on. See if I can get rid of this blob of glue. All right, that should do it. It's clear enough. And if you want to maybe remove this ribbon cable so we can uh, have more space around the area. So all we need to do is to solder in the new battery. Just pay attention to the polarity. And that's pretty much it. You can fold this puppy down. And hopefully it doesn't touch anything. Yeah, I don't think it's touching anything, so I think we're good to go. All right, let's see if it keeps the patterns in memory now. I programmed another pattern here, this one. Let's turn it off. And back on and hopefully it will keep it in memory. And that was it. Really easy to fix, just uh, four screws on uh, the HR16 and if you have a um, soldering iron, just soldering the new battery. So I hope this is helpful to anybody who has an HR16 with the same problem. Thank you as always for watching the videos. I'll see you in the next videos. Thanks.